What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, yes, my city got hit by a pretty, pretty bad hurricane. So, let's go ahead and let's get into it. All right, you guys, so boom. As y'all can see, we got Vader right here, my 2021 Camaro SS1 LE. And like I just told you guys, we actually just had a pretty bad hurricane in the city. You can kind of see some trees and debris on the floor still. Um, shout out to the cleanup crew. They've been doing a great job. All right, hold up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. I'm interrupting today's video real quick because I got to tell you guys this. We got to talk about it. So I've been looking at the channel's analytics and I've been checking out, you know what I'm saying, the subscriber ratio. Um, from subscribed and not subscribed and I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen right now So look man a lot of you guys that are tuning in with the videos the shorts um, Dropping comments and likes and stuff like that A lot of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, bro So if you're in this percentile that says not subscribed if you could please do me a favor Please 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 do me a favor and go ahead and and hit the subscribe button real quick and get this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel more than you know. Honestly, your comments and your thumbs up help push my video into the YouTube algorithm, which in turn shows my video to newer viewers. That way, you know what I'm saying? The JI squad can continue to grow and we can go ahead and hit that 10K mark that we've been trying to hit for the past couple, I don't know, however long we've been on YouTube, man. So that being said, y'all, if y'all could please, if you're in this group right here that says not subscribe, just pause the video real quick, hit the subscribe button, and then turn on post notifications. That way you're notified every time I upload a video. I know I've been kind of MIA for a little bit, but I'm back. So I want to make sure you guys are notified every time I upload. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get back into the vlog with the roads and just, you know, getting us kind of back to where we were before the hurricane. Um, but I'm not about to sit here and jibber jabber about the hurricane because at the end of the day, this is an automotive YouTube channel, not the weather channel. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna talk about Vader. Now you guys clicked on the thumbnail and you guys seen the title. Yes, Vader does have some issues as it currently sits. And so we're about to go ahead and talk about these issues and kind of talk about, you know, what's the game plan for the car, um, you know what I'm saying, in the next coming weeks, next coming months. So let's just get straight into it. All right, y'all. So starting off with the side view, man, you guys can probably already tell from the previous video, the side skirts are still off of the car. That is issue number one as far as cosmetics go um the side skirts man like y'all seen they're just beat up pretty bad um some of you guys did comment in the video and kind of let me know what you guys have used in the past when you know restoring your carbon fiber and so i am going to give that a shot i'm going to go ahead and wet sand it and then try some two times clear and see if that helps bring back that carbon fiber gloss um but if it doesn't then i'm just going to go ahead and bite the bullet and buy a new set of side skirts there is a different set of side skirts that i do have my eye on so i might be switching it up here in the future um if the side skirts aren't you know if I'm not able to restore the carbon fiber side skirts that I currently have. Now, the second issue that Vader has, bro, and this is honestly, in my opinion, probably the biggest issue the car has is actually under the hood. So over about a year ago, I installed speed engineering long tube headers on this car. They are catless. That's why the car sounds as good as it does. I would rev the car for you guys, but somebody's pulled over over there and like two tow trucks just pulled up so i ain't even trying to you know what i'm saying i'm not even trying to get into that i don't want no smoke so if you haven't heard this car tune in with some of the previous videos and you'll be able to hear what it sounds like or go tap in with my instagram or my tiktok there's tons of sound clips code starts all type of stuff over there and that'll definitely kind of give you an idea what this car sounds like it won't be a true testament just because microphones do not do this car justice it is extremely loud but it sounds good at the same time anyway um like i said a year ago we did that install of the long tube headers and when we did that we did swap out my spark plugs However, when we swapped out the spark plugs, I did go 
with the stock standard OEM NZK spark plugs. Now my tuner RK Speed, my guy wants me to run a different set of spark plugs because the issue that we're having is up top, the car is not only breaking. Sorry, y'all, Apple CarPlay cut me off for some reason. But anyway, up top, the car is not only breaking up, but it is also throwing a random misfire check engine light. Um, I don't know what's going on. Um, honestly, I'm pretty sure that it's just some dirty spark plugs. It's been a year since I swapped them out, and this car has predominantly been on E85. Sometimes it's sit for more than two, three weeks with E85 in the tank, and that's not good, bro. Like, you know, I do my I do my due diligence once a month. I run 93 through the car just to clean up the system. Um, but when the car sits and it has E in it, it, it's not helping, you know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure my spark plugs are pretty much dirty and gone bad. So we will be upgrading to the Brisk spark plugs. These are the spark plugs that my guy RK runs on all his six gens and they're phenomenal. I'm gonna be going ahead and making that switch. And hopefully that'll fix the issue that I'm having with the car breaking up up top and then, you know, throwing that random misfire. Other than that, y'all, going back to cosmetics, the rear tires and to be honest really all four tires need to be recoded just because they've got curb rash and all kind of stuff from the previous owner and then some of them are from me and the crappy potholes we got in houston like this right here this chip is for me but this is the previous owner that's the previous owner as y'all can see the tire came out that it literally hit the pothole right on like literally right on the spot took a chunk out of my tire took a chunk out of my wheel this is not the first time that this has happened to me unfortunately as y'all can see the front wheel is also damaged too so the tires need the wheels need to be redone i also need to go back up to a 35 sidewall in the rear so my car doesn't look like a freaking monster truck the fact that i don't have side skirts on right now isn't helping either but you guys know how it goes man it's a project car plus street car plus daily plus track car plus race car plus autocross car multi-purpose car <laughs> you dig what i'm saying but other than that bro this car is 100 percent beautiful um just some maintenance things it's about to be time for some new pads and rotors um i'm probably gonna do power stops through all four i think by now power stops should have came out with some pads and rotors for the ss1 le um, my bad, y'all. I had to cut the car off because Apple CarPlay keeps connecting to the phone whenever I get close to the car and it cuts the video. But like I was saying, when I first bought the car, Power Stop actually didn't make any brake pads or rotors for the 2021 SS1 LE um, because the calipers, they are the ZL1 style calipers. However, the rotor is just a little bit, if I'm not mistaken, it's the rotor is just a little bit wider on the ZL1s versus on the SS. And so Power Stop only makes the brakes for the ZL1s, but since the rotors are different in size, it's not compatible with the SS. So hopefully they came out with some and that'll help me eliminate this brake dust that I've been getting. But other than that, y'all, the car is pretty much perfect. Like I don't really have any complaints for real, for real, as far as driving the car and enjoying it and just, you know, using it for what is meant for um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and tackle the spark plugs we're gonna tackle the side skirts then we'll get to the wheels and i might be switching up the colorway on the wheels i might be i'm not 100 percent sure you know what i'm saying i love the one le stock wheels but i feel like this car would look even crazier on a different colorway if you guys are og subscribers to the channel then you guys would have seen when i first picked this car up i put my z my one le replica wheels from my fifth gen camaro on this car and they were candy red painted and they looked so good on this car so i've really been thinking about doing something similar not the same color but getting these car these stock oem one le wheels in a different colorway
I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think. I personally have been thinking about doing a triple chrome, but I can't find anybody to do them. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. Somebody told me that if they powder coated it, triple chrome, that it would look good for like a week or two and then it would go to crap. So I'm not sure how I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, go about getting that done. But I definitely want to do the triple chrome. I feel like that with the black and all the carbon would look too, too sinister. I also want to get that glow tie from Chevy, bro. I feel like that with the side skirts and the DRLs is definitely going to take the car's front end to a whole new level. Um, and then also, also, also. So I've been dibbling and dabbling with this idea, going back and forth for the longest. I didn't know if I was going to do it. I wasn't sure. But to hell with it. I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I am going to be running dumps and I am going to cut the diffuser, but I'm going to leave the rear diffuser splats though. So that should help with the aggressiveness of the rear end. But just imagine Vader dumped exhaust and cut diffuser to like literally, I probably am going to cut it all the way up to here. So all you're going to see is just this piece going straight down there won't be like this little parachute flap thing and obviously there won't be any tips i feel like it's gonna sound crazy as hell and it's just gonna look as it's gonna look just as aggressive as it sounds so y'all let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are excited for that couple things to you know be looking forward to with this car man i felt like I owed you guys an update, um, but I literally did not have power for the entire week. So we just got power back. I wasn't able to do any uploading or anything like that. So, and I wasn't even able to drive the car. Like <laughs> the roads were flooded. There was debris everywhere. It just wasn't no point. Plus I didn't have any power. So like I couldn't even open the garage with the remote. I would have to manually do it. So like I said, there was just no point in driving the car, to be honest. But we're still, you know, riding around gutted. We still don't have any seats in the car. I'm um, thinking about doing a rear seat delete that'll permanently be in there. And maybe even throwing a roll cage in here. I don't know. I just like how the roll cages look. I don't use my back seat anyway. So just, you know, putting my thoughts out loud for you guys. So you guys can see what the game plan is and what we're going to be doing in the future with this car. So that being said, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Let's go ahead and get a little warm start going for you guys. And then I'll roll that outro and we'll close this video up, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That AWE, I'ma miss it. I'ma miss it when I go dumps. I ain't gonna lie. But without that, without any further ado, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, get this video a thumbs up, drop a comment in the comment section down below regarding to all those questions that I asked you guys in this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.